All right, welcome back everybody. Good Tuesday evening to you all. Last night on the first, it was the full moon, the super moon. Kathy Huntley, thanks for braving 15 degrees below zero this morning to snap the picture of the super moon setting here. Great picture and I hope you got to enjoy that uh, full moon last night. It'll still be out there tonight, maybe not as big, but it will be very bright again with the moon and also a lot of the snow on the ground reflecting that light. So another bright night in the Helena Valley right now. You can almost see the inversion. You can see the pollution the gunk, the moisture, two degrees below zero. Now that's out near the airport. You head up to the capital, we're about five degrees. You head into the hills around town, and high temperatures actually approached the freezing point today. If you want to warm up, go up. I know that's a little counterintuitive here, but if you're headed up to McDonald Pass today, temperatures were up in the 20s. And it feels a lot warmer because you don't have that moisture trapped down in the valley location by the inversion. So it's a little drier and also temperatures are warmer the higher up you go. Or you can go out. You head out to the Montana prairies, Great Falls, 28 degrees. I know that's not the warmest day in the world, but certainly much, much warmer than where it was Sunday night into Monday morning when it was 29 degrees below zero. Yeah, we've had the wind today, but at least we're 28 plus here. There's the capital below zero, and uh, that's the only reading right now below zero, at least here on the map, but relatively warmer air for just about everybody here by 20 to 40 degrees over the past 24 hours. Wind chill, uh, still a few spots down below zero. Helena, the wind chill is identical to the current temperatures because there is no wind, and uh, wind chill 15 degrees into Great Falls. Uh, still a winter weather advisory up here for the Rocky Mountain Front. Uh, Highway 2 from Marias Pass all the way through Browning East Glacier over through Cup Bank was closed yesterday. Blizzard, ground blizzard conditions with snow blowing around. This winter weather advisory will go until 6 o'clock. There's not much wind around Augusta or Shoto. I was just looking at the surface observations, but around Browning and East Glacier here, still some wind gusts up over 40 miles per hour. And it is that time of year, an ice jam here along the Gallatin River and this is uh, right by Logan here, so this is going all the way until Friday, but this will likely be extended. That might be something uh, that you could see driving along Interstate 90. No precipitation here around the state just yet. However, we do have some locations looking at not the best air quality, and Helena is the worst right now. Unhealthy for sensitive groups. Again, this is if you head down into the valley. If you want to exercise, you want some clean air, Go up in elevation. That inversion caps out around 4,700 feet or so. So if you get up to about 5,000 feet, you get above the inversion, you get above the pollution, the cold air, and also uh, that moisture as well. Here's future track. Not much going on. Big changes from last week when we had all the snow and the cold and the craziness. There's more of a ridge of high pressure here over the western United States. A little cloud cover coming through for Wednesday. Thursday we go back to mostly sunny skies, but notice the moisture. It's rain, not snow, and note the direction going on off toward our north. There's a big ridge in the jet stream, and that's allowing the warmer temperatures and pushing the cold air out further toward the east. Lows tonight, yes, it still will be cold, but we're not talking 20, 30, 40. 40 degrees below zero. A few spots may be dropping down below zero far northeastern Montana, but this is a much more tolerable uh, night for temperatures. So around the Helena area, we may get down to about 10 degrees below zero. Again, out in the valley where there's that inversion. And the forecast for tomorrow, a lot of locations getting up above the freezing point. It may only be by a few degrees, but a little cooler out around Glasgow, Malta, Central Montana, a little breezy, but temperatures getting up into the 30s. And I think you could subtract about 20 degrees there from that number on the map because the valley, the Helena Valley, will once again be inverted tomorrow with air quality not the best. Kind of a grayish, gloomy day tomorrow, and the lack of sunshine will really keep the temperatures down. And we'll see some temperatures warming back up, though, maybe with some wind coming through, breaking up the inversion toward the weekend. So maybe getting up to around 40 degrees. And Fort Great Falls, 40 tomorrow, and maybe into the upper 40s by the time we get into Saturday. No real big snowstorms, maybe a little spotty freezing rain, rain or snow, depending on where you are in the state as we head toward the weekend.